Yo, what is happening guys? Welcome back for a showdown live after about like seven years. Uh, we are back now and uh, I'm intending to, to start uploading again. Um, a few things, uh, got a little more motivation now. Uh, I'm feeling a little better about myself. And not only that, um, all my teams got wiped. So I thought I'd start a, a brand new series. I had a, this cool idea. Uh, that I would let you guys uh, give me your team submissions in the uh, comment section down below. Leave a poke paste if you don't know what that is. I'll leave a link to that website in the description. Uh, make yourself a poke paste. You just put it into the black square showdown team builder like you normally would. One of these. Copy that. Put it into the black square. Click submit. If you want to leave me details on what all the sets do on the right side, you can as well. There's a section for that, so I'll read up on any of those. And just leave me the links to your, uh, your poke pastes in the... Um, in the comment section below and I'll start using your guys' teams. Uh, shout you out in videos and whatnot and uh, we'll, uh, we'll review how, uh, how I'm liking the teams. I'm obviously going to try them out before uh, I get to, uh, get to recording because I just want to find out how the team works and try to figure out some stuff on my own basically. But for today, we got a team from Urza on the uh, Smogon forums. Uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, the exact post as well in the description down below if you guys want to go and check it out. I made a slight tweak to the Magirna set. I didn't change anything else. Uh, but this, I traded off a little bit of Spideff for some defense because this thing can live uh, Jolly Scarf Lando's uh, Earthquake or Jolly Max Attack Lando's Earthquake uh, from full with this spread. Uh, and I have Trick Room over Pain Split. I changed that. This was originally Pain Split, and I thought that Trick Room was better for the team. It supports Araquanid. Uh, it allows me to do work with uh, Titar as well, if necessary, uh, and against certain threats like Quiver, uh, Volk, and stuff like that, which the team sort of struggles with, uh, other than having, of course, Rock Slide. I don't want to, like, go hard Titar on Volcarona a lot of the time because Titar is taking hits from other stuff. So I made the uh, the slight adjustment to have Trick Room on here to be able to deal with certain setup threats like that better. So let's uh, let's hop into it. Let's try to get some games. Uh, I just hopped off of uh, Joey's stream. He was doing a Battle Factory uh, stream on his uh, Twitch and uh, caught him. Uh, we had a we had a game. It was uh, it was a good game. I crit his Hound Hour though. Or Hound Doom, excuse me. Crit his Hound Doom with my Gudra. Won me the game. So sorry, Joe. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and also, every, every time I see Joey, uh, Pokeam, if you guys don't know, of course, uh, streaming or just, what, what is my avatar? See, all my all my history got wiped. Uh, that's a story in of itself, but uh, let me change my avatar to what it's supposed to be. There we go. Um, every time I see Joey uh, stream or watch his videos, uh, he like reignites uh, some motivation in me for some reason, and I, I'm, I'm trying to grasp why that that is. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I think uh, against this team, I'm going to enjoy Magirna's Trick Room a lot. Uh, I just gotta weaken his own Magirna and I can put in a lot of work. Obviously I don't have anything to hit the Volk and right away we get a Volcarona so that's really nice. That's gonna show you guys what I what exactly I meant uh, when I said what I said. But I'm gonna lead off with Zam because I expect the Lycanroc lead and that's exactly what he leads with. And I'm just gonna go for a Psychic. It's a Life Orb Psychic by the way if you guys didn't notice in the team builder. This is gonna do a lot to Mag. It's gonna do a good 12% to do Assault Vest Mag. And he's probably going to go for a Volt Switch, so I'm just going to go into Excadrill here as he does go for Volt. And uh, I'm going to double into Tar because I don't expect him to stay in. And uh, we are going to catch the Garchomp. I actually expected Torn to come in there as a, as a pivot uh, and not necessarily Garchomp as he would take a lot from Earthquake. But I'm just going to go into my own Tornadus here uh, as he decides to get up rocks. Obviously, he could be Z. I'm just going to Defog, though, as he goes into Lycanroc. And we're going to go for a U-turn. I'm not too concerned with a Cell Rock. Uh, my Sand is up, of course, so I do outspeed this with Drill. He does end up going for Fire Fang, so a very solid play on his part. However, his... Um, his a Cell Rock should not kill me, so I'll go for Corkscrew Crash here. Catching the Torn and knocking... No. Not knocking it out. Um, I'm going to go for Quake here, because I expected the U-turn trying to catch my T-Tar coming in. And now something has to take an Earthquake, which is going to be really nice. Obviously, Sand Drill was really good here, but um, I'm more concerned with uh, with trying to uh, to keep uh, rocks off at this point and trying to get, get the damage that I, I needed and I did on Torn. So now I'm going to go for a knockoff. I'm going to try to get rid of an item here. Uh, it's going to be Garchomp's, and it is uh, Rocky Helmet, so that's great. He goes for rocks. That's fine. We're just going to defog again. Brings back in his Lycanroc. I'll go for U-turn again. 
Uh, I don't know if he's banded. It kind of looks like he is, but uh, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go to uh, Titar here as he goes for plus two. So if he has Drill Run, obviously he's going to click it here. Would you have Drill Run a Cell Rock? It's possible. Um, I'm just going to go for Quake, see what he has. He has Z. Okay, uh, Splinter Storm Shards, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's going to knock me out. Um, now... That tells me that he probably doesn't have Drill Run, and that he's just Stone Age of Cell Rock. So I think Magirna is good here. And I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch. Uh, Fire Fang does not knock me out, and uh, oh right, he has the Sand Boost. Well then, that's a little problematic. I don't really have anything that I can switch in here. I don't know why I didn't knock this thing out when I could have. Uh, I think a Cell Rock's going to knock me out. Yeah, okay, so that was a huge blunder. Uh, we're going to forfeit that one. That was just a really bad mis miscalculation on my part. I don't know why I thought Volt Switch would knock out the Lycan Rock. It definitely wasn't going to. Uh, I had to, to Flur Cannon there. I could have brought that back, but I think as soon as he SD'd, it was, it was pretty much game. I should have U-turned into my Drill, realistically, but even that was too low, I think, to take into Cell Rock. So, uh, it's all good. I'm just going to move on to uh, the next game. I think this one's a little bit more manageable. I think I have a huge uh, threat in Araquanid against this guy. Uh, he does not have good switch-ins to uh, both stabs. So that's going to be really nice. In fact, I think I'm going to lead with Arak. Uh, as he ends up leading with Garchomp. Uh, and I'm going to actually prioritize getting up Sticky Webs here. Because I want to slow down the Garchomp, uh, the Lele, and the Greninja. All three of them. So uh, we're not going to go into Tornadus here. Uh, as he ends up going for a Toxic, so he's more of a defensive set, I feel. We're going to go for a U-turn here. I want to see if he has Rocky Helmet. As he should. Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, so, that in mind, I'm going to go to Zam. And uh, he's going to go for Stealth Rocks, expecting the Defog. I'm going to go for Psychic here. I don't think I actually... I might drop to Earthquake. My defense is obviously really low. Magirna comes in, takes a lot more this time. 31 to be specific. And that's a resisted stab hit. This one's neutral. Uh, I'm just going to go to my own drill because Zam's looking really good too in this game. So uh, let's just go drill here on his Greninja switch. Okay. Uh, so unless he's scarfed, I do outspeed him. However, I don't feel like staying in here uh, as he's going to go for the Dark Pulse. We're going to be able to eat that up. And I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam, trying to catch, well, more so the Garchomp or the Lando, not really the Tangrowth, but we do end up getting the, the Tangrowth there. And I'm good going for a Volt Switch here, uh, because I want to get in my T-Tar, and I want to go for Stealth Rocks here. I obviously could pursue because his Tangrowth is very unlikely to stay in here, but I'm, I, I feel like I'm better off getting up Rocks here, as that's going to chip away at the, uh, the Gren and the Lando mostly. It's going to be very nice for me. And, uh, you're probably just gonna go for Earthquake here. Huh. This team's very Earthquake weak, obviously. I think I'm gonna Earthquake him. I'm actually faster, which is, uh, shocking. Well, no, not really. Not with webs up. I don't think it's that shocking. We'll go to Torn. Unfortunately, Torn doesn't have a Hurricane. That's the one, like, gripe I have with this team is that Torn's Hurricaneless. But, uh, we'll deal with it. Um... I'm going to go for Knock. I don't value my Torn that much this game. Uh, because Magirna checks it. Uh, the Tangrowth checks it to a certain extent because I don't have Hurricane. And the uh, the Lele as well deals with it. So he gives me his Scarf on Lando, which is fantastic. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go for a Heat Wave. Like I said, I don't really value the Torn. We actually end up getting a crit and he goes for a Defog. Okay, great. Um, now question is, do I want to switch out here? Uh, I think I do. I think I'm going to go to Raquinid here. And he's going to go for a U-turn. Unfortunately, he gets a crit there. So he ended up taking a lot of damage across his Mons uh, from switching around so much. Uh, his Gren's still at full and his Lele's still at full, but everything else has a tremendous amount of damage on it. Uh, I'm going to go to Magirna here because I expect the Moonblast. He actually ends up going for the Psy Shock. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if that specs damage. It doesn't look like it. I'm just going to go for Ice Beam here, as he ends up going to Lando, which is great. We end up knocking that thing out. Uh, now, I need to calc if Defensive Garchomp uh, knocks out my Magirna set, because if he doesn't have any attack investment, he's doing 64 to 76. Um, 
which is still just enough, in fact. So I'm just going to go Torn here as he gets up rocks. Uh, we'll go for Defog as he goes for Fire Blast. Okay, so that's his last move. It's Fire Blast. Okay, so what's cool is that the, the, the Magirna is not Assault Vest. So I'm pretty free to just go for Psychic here. And a Psychic into a Focus Blast should very easily pick him off. In fact, Psychic into Shadow Ball should also pick him off here. As it does. Cool. So we're able to get, knock out the Magirna. Uh, now we just gotta really deal with the Greninja. And we should be good from there. Uh, Araquanid's still at a good amount of health. And I'm actually going to bring it in right here, because now what I can do is I can go for the Leech Life, and he should know that. Uh, but I'm actually going to Liquidate here. I want to see what his play is. He actually decides to stand on my Araquanid, go for an Earthquake. I'm going to Leech Life here, and we're almost going to take out the Tangrowth. Not enough, obviously. He's going to go for Giga Drain, and uh, I'm going to go for Sticky Web because I really value these webs right here. And if he wants to value rocks, so be it. But my team hardly takes any damage from rocks, so that's really good for me. Uh, I can now go Zam, I outspeed the Lele, I outspeed the Gren, and we're just gonna go for a Psychic and knock out his Chomp, which is awesome. Now, obviously his Tangrowth can come in, which is, I haven't used my Z-Move either yet, so I should be able to win this game. Now, I don't really want to catch a knockoff here. I'm going to go to Titar. On what I expect to be a knockoff. As he ends up going for the Earthquake, which is fine. Because now, I can go into Excadrill. I should be able to live any hit. And we're going to go for the... Uh, Sword Zance here. As he ends up going to Grand. Water Shuriken shouldn't knock me out. I'm guaranteed faster than this. Let's see if he gets three hits. He does get three, does he get four? He does, okay, great. Awesome. Not much I could have done about that. Uh, it's not necessarily GG yet. It depends on if I freeze the tag growth right here or not. Let's see, we do get a crit. I'm gonna go to Zam on what I expect to be Earthquake. Cause he ends up doubling to Lele, so that's good. I can Shadow Ball here. And his Lele does not drop. Goes for Moonblast, then it instantly knocks me out, okay. Well, now we're gonna go for Trick Room and Prey. Because now... Okay, well, he gets the special attack drop, which is a little annoying. Um, I have to go for Flurry here. I'm surprised he went directly into Grenon, and I'm really annoyed that he got four hits, too. Uh, did I not get my boost? A little bit strange and trick room is gonna end up doing me in okay so what are you butt hurt that I didn't say GG when you said GG okay um, so this was really annoying but uh, not much I could have done about that I think I won without that because I had Z steel so so be it oh well um, I guess I could have played it safe and gone to Magirna, but realistically, with the amount of hits he got anyway, I don't think I would have gotten much out of that, so... Uh, yeah, there's nothing I could have done there. So that's two losses, unfortunately. Back-to-backs. Not a great way to come back. Uh, let's lead off with Araquanid as he ends up leading with Landorus, which is nice. Um, he doesn't really have a good liquidation switch in. Obviously, he could be Z-Rock. I'm just gonna go for Liquid. As he ends up going for rocks, takes the liquidation, takes a ton. He's Rocky Helmet, that means I'm going to Torn. That means I am going to Tornadus. As he goes for U-Turn and dies, great. Uh, Gren can come in, Lop can come in. Uh, the others just give me a free defog, so I don't think they're good options for him. But we'll see. Uh, he ends up going to Latios, so I'm assuming it's Scarfed. He ends up going for Thunderbolt, it's Life Orb. I'm gonna go for Pursuit. As he decides to stay in and Draco Meteor me. Alright. And we're gonna get off the Pursuit here. It's gonna do enough to knock out the Latios. So we don't have to worry about that thing anymore. Now, Gren's an issue. Because Rocks are up. Uh, I think I have to go... Hard into Magirna here. And then just Volt out. But then he doesn't really have an Earthquake switch in, so that's nice. Goes for Hydro Pump. Does 43. Gonna go for the Volt switch. 
So, again, Gren, a major issue, but so long as my Sand is up, he does not have an option against this. This gets a knockout, and I can get my Sand back up as well. We're going to knock out the Heat Ran. He's probably going to go into his Lopany. Yep. And at this point, uh, Torn serves no function other than giving this thing a little bit of chip with Rocky Helmet. And he's going to go for Fake Out. Great. Uh, now, I could keep this. I could. Uh, but we just established that it doesn't really get it, get me anything. So Now, I could Bluff Sash Zam. I could also go Titar. Titar only has one switch, though. And Sand is, like, way too good right here. Um, how do I want to play this out? Alright, well, he's not necessarily going to call my uh, my bluff on Zam, but I don't think I can make that play. So I'm just going to go to Titar. I'm just going to go for the uh, Earthquake here. On the off chance, he goes into Magirna, which I doubt he'd do. He's just going to go for a return to knock me out. Now I'm going to go into Excadrill. I'm going to go for Corkscrew Crash. Uh, same situation as last game, really. It uh, comes down to how many hits the uh, Greninja gets. He ends up going into his Magirna and giving me that, essentially. Um... How does he want to play this out? Because Hydro Pump's not going to knock out a Raquinid, I don't think. Not from where it's at. It's Spideff is way too good. Uh, I'm just going to go for Earthquake again. See what he does. Uh, goes for Water Shuriken. One, two, three. With a crit and four again. Okay. So, again, not much I could do about that. Uh, I'm going to go to Mag. And I'm going to click uh, Trick Room as he goes for Shuriken again. One, two, three. Okay, so now Trick Room's up, so that's good. Uh, because that means that Zam outspeeds both. And I'm just going to go for a Flur. He's going to Shuriken again. That's obvious. Uh, we're going to go to Araquanid, and we're going to go for the... Uh, I think Leech Life is just the safest play. Or is it Liquidation? Does Liquidation knock out Gren? That's, that's the question. If it does, then that's my play. Greninja Ash versus Araquanid. Uh, OU, Sticky Web, Liquidation, Choice Band. Choice Band, Max Attack, Brave, does 73 to 87, so it's not enough. Oh boy. So I have to go for a Leech Life to knock this out. Okay, so we end up knocking it out. Now, the thing is, I think the Lop knocks me out too. Pretty sure. Well, my defense isn't terrible. Let's find out. Uh, we're like 248, right? 339, I, I would assume. 323, what is that? Okay, 323. Let's see, Lopanese return. 57 to 67, yeah, so I have to go for a Leech Life here. Um, and then, okay, I was still faster, obviously, because of Trick Room. He goes for Return, and I have to go for Leech Life again. He goes for Return again, and I think I die to this, pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. All right. So, yet another loss. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm really glad this is the first episode. <laughs> um... I don't think there's much I could have done differently there. I guess I played for the crit with Araquanid. Uh, with the... Um, with the liquidation. Araquanid does nothing here. Holy crap. Volcanion and Pex. Like, how scared are you of water types, my friend? Um, I like Magirna's uh, Trick Room here. Titar looks pretty solid. Not as a lead, though, because he has the Metacham. He ends up leading with Zapdos, which is okay. Because I can just go Titar. And obviously that invites in Medi, but is it, are you U-turn? Your Heat Wave. Okay, don't get a burn, thank you. Gonna get up rocks here. Don't really care if he goes Gliscor. He goes Pex. Okay. I'm Max Adamant, so this Earthquake's gonna hurt. Like, like a lot. Uh, yeah, it ends up doing 57. He goes for a Toxic. 
Uh, he can't afford to stay in, so I'm actually just going to go for Stone Edge. I think you would go Gliscor here. He goes for Baneful Bunker. Okay. We're going to go for Edge anyway. Just because I think you still go Gliscor. Um, I guess I could catch that with a Raquinid, potentially. Uh, you know what? Let's go Zam instead. As he ends up going Gliscor. Fantastic. Let's go for Psychic. I don't think he's going to see it coming. That we're Life Orb. Unless he knows the team, of course. Just, uh, you know, just stay in. <laughs> just stay in and take a ton with your Gliscor. Please. I would love that because that opens the door to, uh, to SD Drill. SD Drill just wins Understand. He takes 73 and goes for Defog. Okay. So, obviously, another Psychic here would blow him back. However, we Vile's right there. I'm not blind. So, I'm actually going to go for Focus Blast as he does end up going into his Weavile. And we connect and it's Focus Ash. Would you be Focus Ash Pursuit? I have no idea. It doesn't look like he is. Okay, so we're able to knock out the Weavile. Goes for a knockoff, gets off no damage on me whatsoever. Which is good. Okay, I think we can win this one, guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can win this one. Now we have to deal with this crap. Uh, I'm just going to go Torn. That's fine. I don't really mind this too much. As he mega evolves, goes for high jump kick, it does 65. He takes some rocky helmet, we're gonna go for U-turn. Uh, should he stay in? I think I'm gonna go to... Okay, so he ends up going peck, so that's another free kill. Easy. Very easily, free kill. Fantastic. Now it's very hard without Weavile around. You can go for Baneful Bunker all you want, bro. You're still under sand, you're not getting any recovery right now. And this Life Orb Psychic is about to blow you back. I think this is stronger than Megazam Psychic, I'm pretty sure. That Volcanion took a million. Um, I don't have a great response to Volcanion. If this thing's Scarfed, I don't think it's going to knock me out. It does not, so we're able to, to mitigate the Scarf threat. Now, of course, the problem is Metacham. Uh, we're going to go Torn anyway, because I feel like he has to fake out, and he takes another round of Rocky Helmet. We're going to go for U-Turn again. And this time he stays in, so I'm going to sack off Magirna, because it's not actually a setup mon here. Goes for Ice Punch. Now, of course, he has to connect the high jump kick. How much did it do to me before? 64, and I'm at 68. So yeah, let's go Torn, actually. I'm good with that. It does 56 this time. We're just going to keep U-turning. U-turn did 23, so he has to be weary of it. He goes to Pex. Um, okay, so I'm going to go Titar. And the Gliscor has Defog. I'm still going to get up Rocks. That's the intention here. He ends up going for Baneful Bunker, which is great. And now I'm going to go to Magirna. Mainly because I want to stop the Gliscor from coming in. So I'm actually going to go for an Ice Beam here. He actually ends up fourthing. Okay, cool. So we finally get a win uh, after 23 minutes <laughs> of uh, recording. Uh, it's nice. I was liking this team before. I don't know what kind of uh, horrible mental roadblocks I just experienced in the last 20 minutes, but uh, they weren't pretty. But uh, but that game was clean. I think we did a good job there. I feel like the, the team, this team specifically, has a, a pretty high dependence on the sand core to try to sweep games. Uh, and that's kind of why I added Trick Room to Magirna was to ease that, but I don't, I don't, I still don't think it's enough. This this boy has a Machamp. Who are you? <laughs> Not a Machamp. Uh, a Hitmonchan. Excuse me. Like what? <laughs> Who brings that? Um, I'm gonna lead a Raquinid. As he leads with Zap. Okay. I'm gonna go Titar. I'm gonna attempt to get up my rocks as early as possible. He has a Hitmonchan, obviously, which completely stops that. He ends up going for Volt Switch, okay. So I'll know for next time that he's uh, he's one of those. I'm gonna go to Torn here as he goes for the Drain Punch, that's great. And we're gonna get off a U-turn. He has to watch out for Hurricane, obviously. He might just stay in, but he ends up going Zap. This is static, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Uh, and I'm gonna go for an Earthquake here, attempting to catch the Hitmonchan on the Switch. Let's see. He could go Lando, which he does, which is a good play, don't get me wrong, but, uh, I would have gotten up Rocks 
which would have been really good for me. Now, the next time he goes to zap, I'm going to, uh, to Driller. 100%. As he ends up going for a Rock Slide on my Torn. Um, I don't know if he's Scarfed. I don't think he'd run Scarfed Rock Slide of anything. Like, I'm gonna go Mag here. As he ends up going for Knock Off. Okay. So I know that he's not, uh, he's not Scarfed. So that's good to know. Uh, we're gonna catch the Earthquake there. And then we are going to go for... Uh, I can't really make a play here. <laughs> this is tough. The fact that I don't have Hurricane is huge. I'm going to go for U-Turn. And I think I'm going to bring in Zam. As dumb as that sounds. Uh, he could also just go for Knockoff here again. So I don't, I'm not loving that option. I'm going to go Araquanid. Because... Uh, he can rock slide, yes. But now he's forced to knock, I think. Because he doesn't want to miss. Okay, well, I guess not. Alright, I uh, got that turn wrong. Let's just go for... What do I need more? I think I need this more. Yeah, because it deals with his Blastcephalon and whatnot. So I'll, I'll sack Araquanid. And then I'll go Zam. He's, I don't think he's going to expect this to like even come close to knocking him out. And this is stronger than Megazam Psychic. Vaporeon's gonna take a mill. Never mind. <laughs> it's Spadef. What the hell? Alright. Well, I'm gonna go Titar, and I'm gonna get up my rocks now. As he ends up going for a wish, we're gonna get up those rocks. So, he knows that Lando's an annoyance to me. He ends up going Hitmonchan. Uh, I'm gonna go Torn anyway. Just because, uh... He, okay, he can Ice Punch, that's fine. But now... Uh, his Vaporeon's at 73, so nothing's switching into Psychic here. Like, absolutely nothing switching into Psychic. So Hitmonchan drops, great. That's awesome. Agron comes in. Uh, Agron can obviously take this Focus Blast quite well, I would assume. Never mind! Wow! Okay! Well, that, that almost destroyed it. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so he has no switch-ins. Um... Blastcephalon comes in, I'm going 100% directly into Titar. I'm not even messing around with this thing. Shadow Balls, I'm gonna go for Pursuit. You're gone. Goodbye. So no more Blastcephalon to threaten my Zam. Lando's gonna come in. I'm just gonna go for the uh, Stone Edge here. Uh, I could have sacked Magirna, obviously, but I, I feel like Magirna actually does have a role to play in this endgame. I'm gonna go for Psychic here. Uh, something's going to drop. Whether it be Vaporeon, whether it be this Lando or the Zapdos, he ends up sacking his Lando, which is great. Ends up going Vaporeon. I'm going to go for Psychic, because I can. It's going to do 38. He's going to go for Wish. He has to protect here. And I'm going to go for Swords Dance. As he's going to go for a Scald. He does not get the burn, so I'm going to go for Earthquake, and I'm going to knock out his Vaporeon. And now it should be pretty easy, so long as I... Uh, I'm able to kill the Zapdos with a Psychic, which I should be able to because it's max speed. So, yeah, goodbye Zapdos. Okay, so we're two for three. I'm going to try to even it out and go three and three. Um, 30 minute episodes, roughly. I think that's fine. Six games. Sounds good. I used to do, like, three games in 30 minutes. So, <laughs> that's I think that's a pretty big improvement. Um, I mean, considering that the first three were, were losses, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you guys will let me know, but... But I think this is uh, it's a pretty good session back. And honestly, I just wanted to use this this new thumbnail, guys. I think it looks so sick. Uh, I designed it so long ago, and I didn't actually ever get to use it. So it's kind of annoying. Um, well, I mean, it's my own fault. It's not like there was anything preventing me from recording other than my own uh, folly. But, you know, um, it's, it's just a really nice thumbnail. <laughs> and I'm glad to be using it. Uh, I think... Uh, well, you guys already know what's what's on the thumbnail, but I think it's going to be uh, probably Zam, honestly, because Zam's been putting in a ton of work this live. So this man has Mega Sableye, Toxapex, Hippo, and uh, Blissey, probably defensive Garchomp, I want to say. We're gonna lead Araquanid because it covers the, uh, the Sableye lead, and it forces him into Pex. So that's, that's just, okay, well he ends up leading with Hippowdon, which is even better. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Banded Liquidation. He's gonna go into his Toxapex, which is fine. 
Uh, that thing's gonna take 28. Uh, we're gonna go to T-Tar here. I'm going to attempt to get up my rocks as soon as possible, which is going to be right now. So stealth rocks go up. And uh, his hazard removal is actually non-existent. So that's actually really nice. Uh, I'm gonna go for Earthquake here on his specs. Uh, his only response is Hippo to this, and uh, he ends up taking 53. I don't get burned, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna go for Pursuit, because I don't assume that you stay in with Pex here. He goes for Baneful Bunker, okay. So I should have Earthquaked again. I'm gonna Earthquake here, because I don't think you want your Toxapex that low to the point where my Raccoonid is just gonna click and click and click liquidation but we'll see okay so he he wouldn't have minded that apparently um i really want to go zam here because he's gonna get up rocks that's a given nah torn's fine as he goes for slack okay we're gonna knock off something we'll see what it is it's probably gonna be his pecs I would assume. He actually gives me Blissey's leftovers, which is really nice. And we're gonna get off a U-turn here. And I wanna say get in Drill. Yeah, he has nothing for Drill. Like literally nothing. I can just click Earthquake. He's gonna go for Soft Boil. I'm gonna SD. As he goes for Flamethrower, it does 45. He doesn't get the burn, even though he's probably Serene Grace. We're gonna go for Earthquake and claim a kill. So something dies. No matter what, something dies here. And he's gonna give me Chomp, the only response to this thing. The only thing that could have come in and like messed me up after, and he gives it to me. Now I'm gonna Calc Hippo. Pout on. Physically defensive, max. Let's give it max versus uh, Excadrill, uh, Sand Rush Sweeper, plus two, uh, Z Iron Head. 82 to 96, that's really solid damage. <sighs> but I don't want to throw this away. Ah, uh, then again, what's his Blissey at? 91? Yeah, it's going to be tough after. Because I'm not going to be able to break the combination of Toxapex plus the rest if I give this up. But this is assuming he's max. What if he's just this? 91 to 107. So is there any way for us to check that? Let's find out. I went for an attack on his hippo earlier. It was Titar's Earthquake. Tyranitar. Uh, Mega. Dragon Dance, Max Adamant. We are Adamant. Not Ice Punch, but Earthquake. 24 to 28. If he was Max, could I even do that damage? It'd be an extremely high roll. I'm going for this. I think I'm going to knock him out. Oh my god, I was, I was 1 HP short. Oh wow. He went for that. What? That was the best turn possible for me. <laughs> okay, he went for a whirlwind on my Excadrill. Fantastic. So now he's a 1% hippo. He could have knocked out my drill. My drill, which is a massive threat to him. Like, every time it comes in on Pex, it pretty much just claims a kill. So I think that that was a really, really... Uh, I don't want to say dumb, but I think it was a very miscalculated play. <laughs> Like, very heavily miscalculated. Uh, he's gonna go to his Blissey. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch here. As that's gonna do 11, so nothing insane, obviously. Um, now, Blissey is not chancy. It's not especially defensive. Like, yes, it'll still take hits well, but I don't think it'll take Life Orb Focus Blast from... Maybe from there, yes, but... Uh, I like the proponent of going Torn first, though. On his Soft Boiled. Uh, we're gonna go for U-turn. And then I think I'm gonna go to Alakazam and see the type of damage that I'm doing. So I catch the Toxic, which is really nice. 
Uh, just gonna go for Focus Blast here. And see how much we can do. He's probably just gonna soft boiled off any damage, but... Uh, that did 38, so not bad. It's not horrible damage. Um, he's got Flamethrower for Drill. How much is his pecs at? It's at 53. So if I go Araquanid, as he goes Lele, hmm. If you have Psy Shock, you're gonna go for it, aren't you? Let me go Mag. Let's just go Mag. I think Mag is also one of the most expendable members just because it doesn't have a way to break through everything. Uh, like especially Blissey. What's really nice though here is that I'm gonna get off a, uh, a nice little Volt Switch. Uh, I'm gonna get in my T-Tar and I'm gonna go for Pursuit mostly because I don't need Sand and I don't feel like T-Tar's role is that huge this game. So hopefully he's Choice Locked and I catch him here with the Pursuit. Moonblast will knock me out from 29, guaranteed. I'm not even debating that. However, he doesn't have an Earthquake switching after. So even if he stays in, my drill is going to come in and, and destroy something. So he's going to give me Lele. Great. Lele's dead. I'm surprised Sableye has not made an appearance yet, honestly. Uh, I'm going to save this now. Yeah, I'm going to save this and go Raquinid. As he goes for what? Oh, Protect. Okay. So this is nice. I get to go for a Liquidation here. Uh, and even if he brings in Pex, it's not a big deal, especially that I got that defense drop. That's hella nice. Uh, I'm gonna go directly into Drill now. Actually, Zam's free. Because he left his Blissey at 68. So I'm gonna go for Psychic here. Obviously, he can bring in his Sableye. It's an option. But I don't think Blissey is. I don't think Blissey's an option for him. Because it's gonna take Rocks, it's gonna take Psychic, and I think it drops the Focus Blast after. Assuming I connect, of course, but... I also don't think going for Recover there was the play. I think that Baneful Bunker was the play. Well, then again, he did catch my Zam, so who am I to talk? He caught me, but we're able to get off 97% on his pecs. He goes for Scald, uh, and I am just going to Shadow Ball here. Um, actually, no, Psychic's still free. Psychic's still free. I'm not worried about Sableye at all. Because Sableye can't burn my... Sableye cannot burn my uh, my Araquanid. He's going to end up going into Blissey. It's going to take a Life Orb Psychic. And now it drops to Focus Blast. Assuming I connect. Let's see. Let's pray. There we go. Alright, so Blissey's dead. All that's left is Sableye and Toxapex. And like I said, Sableye cannot burn my Araquanid. So... We're actually just gonna go for... Switch out to Magirna here. He's gonna go for the Calm Mind. Oh, buddy. Hello, calm down. We're gonna go for Fleur Cannon. If he goes to Pex, I just Volt. So obviously, uh, Shadow Ball would have done a considerable amount there, I wanna say. Recover could be a problem. Well, no, not really. Is he going to recover immediately? Yeah, he is. Okay, well, that doesn't matter because I just Volt here. He's kind of forced to recover again, and then I just bring in my Araquanid and get off a Banded Liquidation. And I don't think his pecs can switch in right now. This is a very strange form of stall. Um, like, come on, you have to go for Baneful here, right? Nope, goes for recover, okay. Alright, well, we're gonna Earthquake and pray. Do I need to do that? Not really, now that I know what his Sableye is. I can just go into... Into Zam on his Scald. I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball, right? Because Sableye comes in, takes a Life Orb Shadow Ball, takes 53 with a crit, and now I think I knock it out. Yeah, that crit was very unfortunate for him. Um, but I mean, I was up way too much on him this game. And Psychic's gonna kill Pex from full. 
Fantastic. Okay, so we end up picking up three dubs, three losses to start off the episode, and three dubs to bring it right back. So that's that's a that's a full draft league season just turned around right there. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. If this is your first time on the channel or otherwise, doesn't matter. Be part of the Montreal Habsols family as well as the uh, the Astro J family. I would really appreciate that. And uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, because I have no more teams left and everything got deleted, I'm going to need your guys' help. So make sure to leave me your poke pastes in the description down below. Uh, not in the description, in the comments down below. Uh, so that I can check them out, I can read through them. Uh, if you want to leave the descriptions of the sets along with your comment, that's cool too. Uh, it's just that it gets a lot less clunky and cluttered in the comment section if you just put the uh, like what the teams do in your uh, in the actual poke paste itself, because you can do that. There's a section for it on the right side. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to uh, like I said, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Ciao.